If you are researching vital records, then always start with our finding aids. These take you to the name indexes that you can access from home, which provide further information like dates and locations. See our Introduction to Vital Records video for help on finding these indexes and always start with the instructions, which provide help every step of the way. Historically, different styles of indexes were created depending on the area and time frame. Here at the archives, we have studied these historical indexes to help researchers learn how to navigate them. For example, if you are searching Baltimore City death or birth indexes starting in 1904 and later, then you will need to search vowel indexes. Searching these indexes is a necessary step since Baltimore City indexes provide us with a certificate number that corresponds to the actual birth or death certificate. The written instructions in the finding aids are very helpful, and this video tutorial is a supplement to help walk you through how to search them. From home, you can view indexes, but death certificates and birth certificates can only be viewed at the archives during its open hours or can be requested by paid order. These indexes are alphabetical by the first letter of the last name and then broken down by the first occurring vowel, which is why they are called vowel indexes. For example, to find Smith in the death records in 1910, we will start by going to the S's. Within the S's, we will see that they are divided by the first occurring vowel. So there are sections for A, E, I, O, and U, as well as Y, which is considered a vowel in these indexes. We are looking for Smith, so we'll scroll down to the section labeled I. Now we still are in the S's, and we have found the section where the first occurring vowel is I. These are not alphabetical, but instead are listed in chronological order starting in January. This can be very helpful if we know the exact month someone died, but if we do not know that, then we just need to browse the full section from January through December. If we do not know the exact year, then we can use these indexes to search one year at a time until we find the correct entry. Please like and subscribe to follow our channel for more great tutorials and check out our playlists for all of our current videos.